What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting venture here in Hellion. Oh, Saturday stream. Hellion is back, and we have a brand new update for you. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Dragon Hunter is not going to be able to make it today. He uh, had to go to the hospital this morning. But have no fear. He might be able to join us later on. He might not. So, everybody, send Dragon Hunter your love. Make sure he knows that. You know, we are looking out for him. So anyways, fresh start. We are once again on Epictetus' patron-only server. So link to his YouTube channel is down below. Make sure you stop by there. Send him a shout-out. Let him know who sent you. So let's go and do this fresh start. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the new update. They've, uh... They've completely redone a bunch of the, the navigational and, um... They introduced a new ship, and oh, oh, it's so exciting. Oh, oh, oh. okay, let's do it. Ooh, calm down, calm down. Mm, calm down, radar. All right. Oh, why do we not have any desktop audio? Oh, what is wrong with the audio? Okay, settings, settings, settings. Mm, audio, audio, audio. Master volume. Let's turn this master volume up. We'll say 40. 40 sounds good. Apply. Yes, I want to say Look at I have audio now. <gasps> yes. Okay. Oh, grab everything. Oh. Okay. So, oh, I forgot to push the button. I forgot to push the magic button. Come on. Go inside the firefly. There we go. Yeah, we have onion. Okay. I am so excited. Okay. I have been looking forward to this update ever since forever and always. Because, uh, they... They, they, they changed up the starter ship. It's no longer the um, Ares. I think that's what it was. The official title of it was called. But anyways, the new ship is the official uh, you know, starter ship. Go ahead and go over, come over here. And oh, oh, nice. So let's go ahead and grab this, and then we can grab this. And then, mm -hmm. Turn a light on so we can see something. Anything in here? No, no. Okay, I'll close these up. I don't have my cup. Uh, ooh, hello. This is a drill and a warp cell already in here. That's nice. Ooh, more stim packs. Okay, okay. Let's see if there's anything in here. So we power supply, life support, life support, power supply. So nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, whole lot of nothing. Mm, exit. So main room. I think I can change this. I can. Lobby. Outpost lobby. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. I got my weird little giggle going on. This is awesome. Okay. Ooh, a little bit of damage. Corridor B. All right. Power supply. Uh, okay, got a T1. Let's go ahead and deploy that so we can get some power to our base. Um, grab this and this. Anything in there? Hey, we have lights. All right. So, as always, we're going to have to do all this stuff before we can actually start getting playing. But if you guys have, have watched Epictetus' uh, live stream on this update, you'll kind of you already know what to expect when we get to the new ship. And uh, if you haven't, then first off, shame on you. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But uh, 25% warp cell, so okay. But uh, then you guys are in for a huge surprise because you have no clue what to look forward to. So let's go ahead, confirm. Now, I've already gotten reports from people who uh, have, have already played this update that um, it's still a bit bugger, but not to worry and not to fear. Let's go and get this repaired up. Okay. I am still super excited for this. 
got the call rescue ship and distress call. Awesome, awesome. Another stim pack. Anything in here? Nothing, nothing. Okay. All right. Let's uh. Let's get to this. Let's go ahead. All right. So, first things first. The stirrups. Sterile. Let's go take a look at our new ship, shall we? Oh, so exciting. <laughs> its nickname is the Leech because it doesn't have solar panels or a fusion generator on it. So it has to, like, um, drain. It also, I don't think it has a oxygen generator either. So it, uh, it can't do a lot of the stuff that the old ship could. Ooh, non-standard docking port. Okay. Oh, that's right. We can't actually, um, it won't mate up properly with the, um, our ship or with our outpost. Not to worry. Oh, I think I said my Dr. Pepper. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah. Ah, once again, not sponsored by Dr. Pepper, although it would be awesome. Okay. The first time I've ever stepped foot in a new ship. Oh, it's so cool. So cool. What is this? Service access point. That's probably where the ha uh, the hacking module goes in. Okay. Let's go ahead and shut the door and refresh your eyes. Okay. Now, I don't know everything about this new ship. I do new I, I, I do new I do know some of the smaller details and I'm gonna go over those with you guys as we approach them. But uh yeah. Turn off our line in case we have air, oxygen, and everything else. Okay, so first thing you notice you come in, this is like a little cargo area. A little main room. And we have engineering back here. Awesome, awesome. This is the air filtration system. So that's that that that's life support. That <laughs> RCS access. Okay, that's an interior. That's cool. Power supply. Okay, can't access any of that. Singularity core detonator. Do we have one? <gasps> We do. It's only T1, but it's still better than what we normally start off with. Okay, come in here. Ooh, resource injector. This is our small storage bay. Because of our shadow, we're going to turn that on. We got a little bit of weapon storage. A little bit more weapon storage. Not a lot of shelf space. Ooh, cool. Chert hard point, point there. Anything in here? No. Okay. So now we go to the bridge. Oh, they didn't have any one. That's kind of upsetting. All right. Security panel claim. So, in respect of our last ship, we are going to change the name of this one to the No More. Which means when we get a new ship, we're going to have to come up with a brand new name. And I think I already know what I want, but I want you guys' input on it. And then there's even an epic... Look at that. And there's an epic tech emblem. Oh, that is so cool. That is so... Not, I'm so glad Epic is finally getting the recognition he deserves. The Leech King. Yeah, that, that, that's the new nickname for this ship is the Leech. Because it doesn't have oxygen generation or power generation on its own. So, what do we want? That's kind of cool. Ah, but I got—I gotta go with bouncing Betty. Hey, Betty. Okay, so there's the distress call, environmental systems, personal defense. Okay, the little pistol locker, docking control. They have extra seats. That's neat. Piloting not active. This is the new kind of ship interface. 
but let's go back and take a look at some of the stuff we couldn't see before, like life support. So yeah, as you see, it, it has an air filtration system, but not a um, air generator. And right here, we have power supply. We have, and we have three core containment field generators we can stick in there. But right now, we can't do any of that because we don't have one. Let's see about docking. How is... Oh, gosh. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay. So, okay. The anchor. So this, no, and all, this ship doesn't have a grappler or an airlock that we can attach stuff to. But we can anchor to stuff. So, this has anchoring points. Oh, that is gorgeous. So, oh, here we go. Okay, so I can anchor. Oh, cool. I can anchor onto the outpost and the, um, the crew quarters. So, we're going to anchor onto the outpost. Go ahead and get this anchored on so we can start getting more energy. Nice and slow, just like always. Okay. So it says, okay, we are now officially anchored onto the outpost. There we go. So let's go ahead and get up. Get up. There we go. And let's check out our power generation and see how we're doing there. Okay, so the no more. Da, 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 da. We're making a surplus of 225. That's good, but not great. Let's go ahead and shut off that. So now we're making a surplus of 350. That's cool. And let's just leave this off while we go get the airlock attached. <laughs> This is actually really, really neat because then you don't have to. It, it makes it a little bit harder for people to completely lock up their bases by just attaching random ships to all their airlocks. So that'll be really nice. Okay, so let's go and open up this outer door. Turn on our light and get this airlock attached. Oh, even the airlock has a an anchor point. That's cool. That well makes sense because this thing is designed to like move modules and whatnot around. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay. And if you look at the top middle of the docking ring, it has like a little green thing. I think that's to actually signify if you are green to dock. Like, um, before you just kind of had to guess if you were like, um, going too fast or anything like that. Okay, nice and slow. I guess it might, yeah, the, the orientation. I don't know. We're going to have to play around with that a lot later. But now we have an airlock. Let's go take a look at this derelict real quick before we head back inside. Now, I have been told, I think I mentioned this already, but I have already been told that there is a huge glitch with the ship blowing up randomly. When, tra when warping with and without modules. So, we may be in for a little bit of a surprise. I hope we're not, but this is a brand new update, and this is an alpha game, so we always have to judge 
bugs and glitches like that with a grain of salt. Because it, like, it it's the game's an alpha. It's a gorgeous game. But still an alpha gorgeous game. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Excuse me. Alright. Okay, so there's nothing really here. Not surprising. Ooh, hello. Are you able to attach? Hmm. take a look at the outside of this because it looks like okay, so I can't repair that it looks like something I should be able to repair but I can't there's actual docking stuff okay anyways let's head back Gorgeous. Okay. Ooh, a little bit of damage. Let's go and get this all repaired up. I saw something laying on the ground. If that is a catalyst, no. What is this? It is a catalyst. Okay. We already have a catalyst in our solar array, so we really don't need this one yet. I'll close this door. Probably should have opened up the interior door. There we go. There's your gravity right here. Yoink. Anything in here? Ooh. A pistol and some ammo. Yes, please. Gravity in this area. Let's go ahead and blow this airlock. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can do. We can deal with all this. Okay. So we have very little oxygen right here. No more. All right. This and this. This and this. Power up our air generator. Let that run for just a minute. Cargo terminal, refinery. Okay, we're done with that. Dry ice. That's oxygen. This is going to be nitrogen. Yeah, we'll throw the rest of that in there. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Think. Let's go ahead and turn off the power in the airlock. No sun exposure. Awesome. Oh wait, the no more does have solar panels. That's cool. Okay. We had some sun so I can see how effective they are. I guess it would be kind of foolhardy to have a ship without any means of actually powering itself. Uh, we are in a debris field. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Shut that down. We can refill. Okay, what just happened? I guess. Okay. I guess pressurizing takes a lot longer than it used to. Okay, still no sun exposure. No big deal. on. 
No big deal. Alright. We're still in the debris field. Damn it. I do like this airlock a lot better because it is on ground level with everything and I don't have to like rotate half my body to get anywhere. the single warp cell is at. This ship only has one warp cell. So. Ooh. Oh, okay, so this is where the three uh, quark containment field generators go. That's cool. So that's online. Okay, so we're losing. Okay. There's that. So the no more needs to power up so we can get the FTL online. Fields four. What does four do? Oh, I think four is a light. That's cool. So, oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, this is the new interface. Let's do a scan. Yeah, we are currently behind the planet, so we have no sun exposure. Okay, my ship. Forty-two minute. Okay, add custom orbit. Bring this out here. And this in there. Okay. And we're gonna rotate it. And a matter of fact, we're gonna rotate it like this. Because then we should always have some type of sun exposure. Orbital period, 1 hour, 30 minutes. Okay. Position in orbit. Okay. Oh, that is cool. It tells you, like, the degrees. Alright. That's probably about as good as we're going to get. I like it. Position orbit, 180 degrees. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, warp 2. Okay. Power consumption is going to be 50,000. Okay. Four minutes to get there. Uh, cool. I can see it down in the, lo the bottom. Okay, so let's try this. Speed too low. Ready. Okay. Uh, strong enough. Powerful warp. Powerful warp. Okay. Okay, so I can. Do okay. Initialize. And it even tells you where to move. That is cool. Here we go. Alright, let's stabilize. Let's get this over. Oh. Warp to it. Alright, let's try this again. Ready. Initialize. Okay. I took too long in looking at the new pretty interface. There we go. 
All right. Now, this is the coolest part of this. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah, I'm walking away. Resource injector, I like that. Okay, so I can have spare suits and stuff. Really doesn't help me to have. S oh, that's cool. Oh, that is neat. So you can put small. Okay, and then you can. Oh, they. Oh, okay, we were talking about that. They we are now in warp, going to our new custom orbit. Yay! Okay. Yeah, we were talking about that. How it would be nice to have a place specifically for our small canisters and stim packs on the ship. Awesome. Oh, I'm loving this more and more. Ammo goes down there. Rifles. So we're going to fill this one up first. There we go. We got pistol ammo. And then actually don't have any spare pistol ammo because our main pistol needs to be reloaded. Put that in the personal defense. Oh, cool. Oh, this is nice. Ah, so I can lock it. <laughs> and now, when Dragon Hunter is being a jerk, I can lock him out and then grab a pistol. At least until we get Fred. And Fred will go right there. Bouncing Betty. All right. Uh, can we actually sit in these? Okay. Oh, this is so neat. So we have some hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen in this. And there's nowhere on here I can input it so that I can take it out. Okay. So we have a spare warp cell. Alright, let's check out our course. My ship. Okay, so we're right down here. Awesome. We are in perfect orbit. Okay. So we're in a nice or orbit. Ooh, burner is actually a lot closer than it used to be. Outposts and derelict over there. Automated refinery. Automated refinery. Okay. Oh, that is so neat. So it, it shows you what's on there. Everest Station, right there. Awesome. Okay. Let's get unloaded and ready. Oh, let's check out and see how much uh, energy our ship produces. Because now we can actually... Okay. So that produces 600. And the outpost produces 500. That is cool. We have a catalyst in there. Okay, so we should be full in no time. All right. this inner door and fresh check to pepper. Good old luck to pepper. Okay, let's close this or open up this outer door. Head back inside. I want to find the solar panel on the back of this just so we can kind of see what it looks like. So, probably going to do that as soon as we refill our spacesuit, um, unload everything. We should be good. Right. We can turn the power back on now. Because now 
we, we should not run out of daylight anytime soon now. So. Okay. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, no, it's not. That's going to be an issue. Okay. We'll, we'll keep the crew quarters offline for now. Until we can get some more stuff. Just throw that there, throw that there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get this. And unload all of that. Okay. So we got a couple stem packs, nitrogen, oxygen. Good mix, good mix. We got a catalyst here that I don't think. Okay, we're gonna have to go into. Put this up for a second. Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> One of my buddies was calling me on Steam. Uh. Okay. I guess he didn't realize I was streaming. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even know that you could do that. So, yeah, that's a thing. All right. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh, what I saw my helmet on. I'm just wasting oxygen now. Um, let's go ahead and swap this out. Throw you on the charger for now. And then refill you. I didn't even see a charging port. Hmm. We may not even be able to do like swap, like uh, swapping our jetpacks out. You know, like charging one and swapping it out. Okay, refinery, unload. We're not going to refine anything else for now. So we have, okay, let me put a little bit more repair juice in that. Okay, we got enough. Let's put 25 in it. that really don't need all those stem packs we'll keep one on us in case of an emergency all right all right let's go take a look and get a good look at the exterior of our new ship Let's go. Okay. On the back. Is this the solar panels back here? I don't remember seeing those before. But it makes sense. here got the bouncing Betty down there that's neat uh, I'm not seeing where to install the catalyst at though this is on top yep solar panel utility right there okay maybe just that's the solar panel Well, at least it's not a 100% leech like I was expecting it to be. Because from everything I was told, it couldn't produce any power on its own, and 
Yeah. Yeah, it was completely just unable to do anything other than fly. So I kind of like the fact that it has solar panels on it, so it's not a complete drain. And I don't have to return back to base after every single incursion. So to turn the light off is look for a charging panel. Oh, okay, so I can, inc okay, I can activate it from there. Uh, no charging ports. Got the singularity core detonator and all that, okay. Okay, so it could be better, it could be worse. All in all, still kind of happy with it. Let's put this up. Oh, that is awesome. Will it? No, okay. So that right there, that's for the jetpacks. And right there is for the suit. Okay. Not as awesome as I thought it was. Okay. Let's go ahead and undock there we go go up a little ways oops here we go and take a little bit of getting used to we got burner broken marble military outpost uh, automated refinery b1 So, go ahead, speak too low, oh, we have a warp 2, why did I not ever use that? Okay, all I have to do is line this up. 20 seconds until I warp. And that looks pretty good. Alright. So now we're moving away from our outpost. We're going to come take a look. We're good on... There we go. ETA, 30 seconds. Alright, alright. gorgeous so we got the outpost set up and now let's just go raiding so we're gonna get there and then let's do a scan All right. now we're actually here let's do another scan seeing anything so hmm derelicts automated refinery derelict stereo derelict, derelict okay <laughs> let's bring us in nice and close shall we Looks like, oh, the automated refinery now has a solar module. Oh, they changed it. The automated refinery looks more like a derelict ship than anything now. Okay, so we can now target match. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be hard not uh, lining up at the door anymore. 
because I need someone outside. <gasps> or, I wonder. Oh, it's not what I wanted. It'll take me a minute to get used to these new commands. Automated refinery. Okay. I cannot dock with it, even though there are clearly docking ports on there. Nice and slow. Go ahead. And from here, we're going to match course. And then we're just going to rotate it to the side. That right there should be pretty, pretty, pretty spot on. Can see out there? I can. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. Let's go do a little bit of raiding on the fresh server, shall we? outer door okay so we're gonna have don't tell me that means there's turrets inside if there are turrets inside I might actually cry right, so there's some suits So we'll come back for all this. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up these docking bay doors for everybody. Ah, cool. Come on, open up. Because. We are nice people. Just go ahead and open up these doors. Alright. Check everything out. Anything? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Alright. Nothing in there. Nothing really here. A couple of. Let's look through all these. Nothing. Okay. We got some resources. Forgot to depressurize the ship. Right. Pressurize it real quick, then we'll depressurize it so we can just run in and out. Oxygen, cool. Alright, let's head back here and see if we can. There's power supply, life support. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we should be able to. Dead 
grab an extra warp cell. Not a lot of space in here. One bar. What's wrong? My, my tank is full. Okay. So I can actually hold just a hair more air than what I actually need. Okay. So now we're completely vented. All right. Okay. We'll go look up there in just a little bit. I want to see the rest of this, the new station. Port A. Oh, there is a fabricator in here. That is awesome. I can actually. I wonder if it just needs power. I wonder if that means that fabricators are going to be a lot more rare. I don't know. That might be. This might be a, a, a game changer. Because right here, this is a solar module. Oh, that is cool. We got like derelicts and stuff. All right. Take a look down here. These things open. I wonder. They do. Oh, no, there's ammo. There. Nope. Okay. Take that warp cell. Is that really it? Is that the entirety of the station? It's the cargo bay and that fabricator. And a couple of T's. A pistol. Okay. Nice and slow. We look around. Make sure we got everything of any importance. Nice and slow. Resource container, a warp cell. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. We come into here. Resource injector. So this is the way we came in, if I if I remember correctly. We came in through here. And this is like a yeah, another little derelict hallway. There's some spacesuits that we're probably gonna grab before we head out. Okay. Ooh, can I? I wonder if I can disconnect that. No. Darn it. <clears throat> okay. So we have this. Let's go check up the, uh, I call it the little warden's office. 
see if there's anything up here. Nope. Power panels, no nothing. It's kind of mean they have a fabricator there, no means of using it. Because it would be so nice to be able to start fabricating stuff. Did they fix this? Nope. It used to be down here. Oh, yeah, they put it right there. That's cool. So there's a servo motor. No capacitor. Alright. This side's still broken. Right, electronics. Alright. I want to say this, this is everything. Nope. Mm. Let me run back to the fabricator. This door will let me. Come on, open up. Open, 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 open. Here we go. Come back in here. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. The nitro. Nitro is always good. Straight inside. Beautiful landing. There we go. Put this up. Come on. Oh, I don't think I can put it up on there. Okay. Those are all small shelves. Put it up there, though. Put our pistols up. Okay. More nitro. Some nitrates. Ooh, 30% warp cell. That's good. 26. Okay. There we go. Servo motor for this guy. I think that, sh aside from those, that should be it in here. Okay, some more warp cells. There's no storage in here. I don't, didn't see any. It'd be nice if those opened up so I could put use that for storage. Put things there because they obviously would fit. Couple of good warp cells. Matter of fact, we're gonna swap out with the warps with the our nearly full warp cell here, so we can have that for more important things. All right, there we go. So this is all nitro. Entering into production. Sure, oxygen. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, it finally added a little heads up thing, so we know when we're uh, in a debris field. That's cool. Everest Station. Supply outpost. Yeah, why not? Hmm. All right. 
Let's try this. Let's try the civilian supply outpost. Well, the burner is probably the one of the planets I hate the most going to. If we're going to have any problems, it's going to be burner. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to look for problems. So we'll be jumping in 12 seconds. We'll go ahead and keep... Shut the outer door at least. Here we go. Oh, that is cool. On any screen, you can see the ETAs. Oh, that is neat. 21 seconds. Awesome. But they don't have a basketball. That's kind of sad. You can't play basketball while uh, flying around space anymore. Yay. Whoa. Okay. Just to double check, we can't. Oh. Ah, I remember. Civilian supply outpost. Yep, we can't attach anywhere on here. We have a life support module, airlocks. Okay. Nice and close. All right, so now we're matched. Go ahead and shift this over. Right there should be good. Go ahead. We'll swap out our jetpacks real quick. And let's see how well I did of lining this up. Eh, not bad. Considering I'm flying around solo today, not bad at all. All right. Come in here. Looks like an air filter right off the bat. That's cool. Stim pack. Control. Okay. More suits. Ah, I forgot to grab those suits. Now ah, we hit debris field. So that's my excuse for not grabbing those suits and whatnot. We hit a debris field. All right. There. Definitely grabbing the basketball hoop. Here. Come on. Nothing in there. But here. Oh, nothing in there either. So I got a repair gun there. A couple of jetpacks and helmets. Alright. We are already in a debris field. Awesome. Repair gun, T1 servo motor. I don't know, but I see a basketball. Seems like this is where the majority of this the rest of the station is. Okay. This is all damaged. There's a lot of basketballs and basketball hoops. Helmets. Okay. Nothing too terribly great that I'm seeing. Alright, 
Let's see what's down this corridor. Seeing anything? Okay, so I got a jetpack there. Nothing really down here. Maybe that was a jetpack. Yep, another jetpack. And a busted door. I'll have to check all these corridors out later. Okay, so just past a warp cell. Pressure differential. Hello. Huh. Crew quarters. It's actually air. That's weird. That's cool. Someone li does someone live here? No? It's free. <coughs> I wonder if there's a button in there also. F. Uh, F. Let's register it as well. Can I enter this cryopod? Can't seem to enter it. Huh. That's for the picture. That's weird. Okay. Didn't wait long enough. No big deal. And out here is space, so we don't have Yes. A cup. I have officially won this game. Some more resource injectors. Okay, fire extinguisher. The ship still looks good. Alright, so I'm just seeing a bunch of the jetpacks and spacesuits and nothing really all that special. Check down in here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Report A. Basketball resource injectors. Back in the debris field. Initial search, nothing too terribly exciting. Let's see what's down here. Okay, so we got gravity in here. I think I've already been in here. Yeah, I think this is where I came from. Yeah. Air pressure regulator control, okay. I think this is the life support module I came from, which means I need to go through here and see if there's anything out here. There isn't. Okay. So I'll just grab some stuff and leave. All in all, not really worth it.
Grab this pressure suit. There we go. Okay. Back to the ship. Be a lot more interesting if we could actually anchor to it. But it is what it is. Alright, this we'll put that down there. Close this. Ooh. We are sparking. We're 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 so good. Let's go ahead and close the outer door and let's get some oxygen flowing through this place, shall we? Okay. So you got a basketball hoop, but nowhere to put it. Super depressing. CO2 filters. Got a poster. Ooh, is there a spot I can put a poster on? I'm not seeing anywhere I can put a poster. Well, that's no fun. And I have to keep the poster on me because I can't set it down anywhere. Got some some carbon filters. I got my cup. O2 consumption of air filter, power up time of L air filter. How did it do that? Okay, let's Yeah, I don't I have a feeling I can't do anything with this. Probably not going to be able to set it down anywhere. Probably was a really bad idea to pick that up. So we've got some more. Okay. So that's that. Still got a little bit of space. We can put some more stuff. Alright. I wish these seats were accessible, but they're not. I didn't even perform a scan while I was here. So let me go ahead and perform a scan. Alright, derelict, derelict, derelict. Burner. Please select manually. Burner. Okay. Position in orbit. At the station. Come on. Oh, there it is. Uh, no. Everest Station. Do they take out Everest Station? Oh, I'd be so sad if they took out Everest Station. So we got this here. Let's just add custom. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Storage facility warp to it. I'm going to do warp to. Yeah. <coughs> 
Oh, sorry about that. Three minutes. Two minutes. Wow. Two minutes, but as as bad as we can do. Okay. There we go. Line up. Okay. We're warping in about thirty seconds. So I got time to sip on my Dr. Pepper. Alright, I wonder if anybody's actually on here. <clears throat> I wonder if anybody's on the server at the moment. That'd be cool. Alright. Hey, there's the boss man himself. Salute! Ah, so cool, so cool. So they're probably doing like some pre stream prep work. So, yeah. Alright, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that they're just playing for fun. I don't think he's streaming at the moment. Embarrassing if he's streaming right now. Okay. So here I am. I am live. Save. Okay. Hello. Okay. So we're already in the middle of it at Brief Fields. Okay, so the doors are shut on this one as well. Which means we're going to have to go ahead and open them for everybody. There's, oh, they they joined them together instead of having them separate. Okay. Let's go to the storage facility directly beside us. Up a tad bit. Uh, match speed. Bring us in just a bit. Rotate that around a hair more. Match speed there. I think we should be good. Yeah. Not bad. I probably, I, I probably should pull it forward and line it up a little bit better, but meh. derelicts. Okay. And more derelicts. Hmm. Um, let's 
storage facility. Here we go. Ah. Oh. So we are starting... Okay, so they changed up the orbits to where it's almost always inside the debris field. So we're going to have to be super careful. Super, super careful. Let's get inside quickly so we can open up that cargo bay and not worry about any piece of debris slamming into us. And I think I already see something well worth making this trip worth it. Yep. Nice. Oh, oh super worth it. Nice, nice, nice. Is that a Promethean jetpack and helmet? Okay, that'll make Dragon Hunter very happy. And he'll basically get to start off with a Proteus helmet. A Proteus suit. Okay. So docking port C, blah, 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 blah. This is the cargo bay. Open all the doors. Yay, artificial gravity is already turned on. There's the ship. Open up all this stuff, see if there's anything inside. <coughs> Warp drives. There's like a bunch of batteries. Okay, anything in here? No, 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 no. Shoot. Okay, a couple servo motors, that's cool. More catalysts. I like that. Other than that, nothing. Okay. Let's come over here and open up this area. I'm trying to get a couple of core containment field generators. So if we can get one, or preferably three, we will be sitting quite pretty, pretty, pretty. More catalysts, more servos. Ooh, resource injector. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we're already full. Let's head back to the ship. Unload some of this stuff. If we have the room. I hope we have the room. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start throwing useless junk into space. Alright. So we have the servo motors and stuff up there. Okay. Let's just start loading up shelves. the wrong slot for that, but okay. Put that down there. So we're going to keep one of these on me. There's a servo motor and a catalyst we're going to keep on us, and we're going to throw the rest of this stuff out. And this, I guess replace the T2. Of that catalyst. Let's go ahead and put this Prometheus suit up. Let's grab this. Here we go. Our normal suits over here and Prometheus stuff over here. And then we'll add to it as needed. So there's some ice here. Okay, put that. Nope, okay. That works. And the warp cell. Already starting to run out of space. But, oh, before I forget and go too far. Let's go up here and upgrade our solar panels. 
while I'm at it, while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and uh, repair this stuff. Now we're cooking with gasoline. Throw that. We don't need it. Okay. Throw that. Can't do anything with it. It's not worth it. All right. So battery packs. Resources. There's a resource injector over here. I'll make sure to grab this. Where'd it go? Did I lose it and respawn? No, no, there it is. Okay, it was just hiding from me. Alright. Check this out. So cool. We already got T2 stuff. We're on day one and already at T2. Keep our eyes peeled for more Proteus suits. Come on, open up, there we go. More servo motors. I think, oh, there it is. More welding guns, battery packs, fire extinguisher, welding gun. Okay. There's a Proteus backpack. Take that. Resource canisters. Those are always good to have. Let's see what's over here. Oh, yes! Right there. <gasps> one or two? It's two. Or one. Okay, one. Still. That's what we came here for. Container, container, container. Alright. Is there anything else over here that we might need? Alright, nothing really. Okay. So we're probably going to have to head back to the ship after grabbing that. Oh, wow. Hydrogen, nitro, dry ice. Okay. In fact, what we can do now. There we go. And no more. Do, 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 do. This is so exciting. Okay. Let's put this stuff up if I can. It looks like I'm going to run out of space. Ah, a little bit more space. Oh. Did I put that in the wrong s Did I set that down there? Nope. Okay. We can go ahead. Alright. And install this core containment field. There we go. Oh, so much power. Oh, we're making 640 now. There we go. That's what's up. Uh, uh, how much of the ship is left to explore? Let's come over here. Alright, so it's pretty much just these two dot these two cargo bays. That's it. Oh, this looks like a Fabricator module? Yeah, it might be a fabricator over here, so we're definitely gonna come, come check this out. This is where we got the Proteus jetpack and helmet early. Here, the good thing we came back, so I didn't see that container. Alright. It's got a battery there. Back here, make a basketball, of course. A couple of 
drills. Nothing in there. A servo motor. Batteries. Another Promethean jet pack. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this drill. Did I not tell it to do okay. Okay, so that's done. That's good. This and this. We are actually running low on here we go. Go and just drop that, don't really need it. Okay. That's battery the drill, like a servo motor, that, that. Really don't need the drill at the moment. Oh, so I can't believe they took out they they changed up all the stations. I wonder what the military outpost is gonna look like. Uh, I don't want to think about it right now. We've had so much bad luck at that military outpost. Make sure we grabbed everything from here. Set that back down for now. Let's see what do we have over here. Okay, so right here, what's this? What are you? Helium 3. Okay, we need lots of that. Not because we have a fusion reactor, mind you, but because eventually we will. All in all, though, we are doing really well. Put this up. Let me go put this back here. <laughs> now if there's a fire, we can take care of it. That up there, and that up there, up there, up there. Okay. Bunch more servo motors. Lots and lots and lots of servo motors. Oh, I wish we had boxes just so I could. It's so frustrating. Okay. I don't think we have enough space for me to grab anything else, really. Let's take a look. Two, two empty slots. So yeah. Go ahead and shut that door. Okay, we got our servo motor installed. Go ahead and pressurize. Gonna start cleaning up the air a little bit. We're at 83%. All right. Okay. We got plenty of fuel. We are sitting pretty. Yeah. Well, now I don't know. You, you probably I don't know if you saw, but uh, all the the derelict stations. Every station and fire they all have fabricators. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh you're talking about the eight, the the helium three, yeah. Fabricating hundred percent cells is amazing. And especially since you can only have one cell in at a time now on this new starter ship. It's gonna be very useful. I think we are full and ready to head home now, though. So. Yeah. Have you seen the new interface for the, um, uh, for warping? Because if you haven't, this right here is going to be a treat. This is so gorgeous. So that's Everest. Let's see. Da. 
now we're just derelicts, derelicts, derelicts. Let's do another scan to see if anything spawned in since we've been here. Storage facility, no. Just a bunch of derelicts. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and head home. So that we can uh, unload all of our wonderful spoils. Speed too low, right there. So it's going to take us. Here we go. One minute to get home. Initializing warp in 25 seconds. Alright. That sh right there should be good. And then I just walk away because it can initialize and do everything itself. Ha ha ha. It's got H3. We got a bunch of stuff and we're not going to have anywhere to put any of this in the base. Yeah, I played for a while on my private server, but new patch broke module spawning somehow. I'm not sure if spawning itself or well new nav screen is buggy, but the result is that I do not see much modules around where Yeah, I haven't seen any modules either, and I know there are at least two other people on the server currently. So I don't know if it's gonna take more time for them to spawn in or what's going on. That could be a bit annoying. Especially if I went out and did all this work and they're going to have to restart this server. That would be very sad. I would probably cry a little. Okay, I'd cry a lot, I'm not going to lie. Zero module. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, all I've seen is derelicts. Um, I don't know if you saw derelicts or yours. But I know on mine, I, 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 that's all I saw were derelicts. So, wow, why are we so far away? No big deal. Let's go ahead and head home. Not even derelicts? Wow. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you there. I, I at least saw a couple of derelicts. I know it's going to be a couple of days, and I'm probably going to have to do some stuff off camera. Broken Marvel had a bunch of derelicts and a CTM. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. Even, I I didn't see a CTM. I <laughs> I've seen zero modules so far. All right, let's speed up. I'm still trying to get used to the look at the new interface, so I don't want to go too fast. Especially since I want to do my ship. Let's do a quick scan. I don't know if we'll be able to see anything. Automated refinery derelicts. Automated refinery. Yeah. Everest was the only place that had somewhat I mean uh web cam on. In case the other places are sent to leave or something. Yeah. Well I, I just came from Everest and I didn't see anything. So Yeah. All I saw was a bunch of derelicts. Okay, I'm gonna need to speed up somewhat. Six kilometers away. But this being a private server and all, I wonder if uh, Kitten will let me just spawn in my station.
Commander Kitten is the community manager for Epictetus. And we are actually, I'm actually on his private server. So if you guys want to come and play and hang out with me on this server, all you got to do is go to Epictetus' Patreon, and that's how you get access. <laughs> Okay. So, how do you say your first name? Tibu Tybo Tybo Coder? Think you could spell that out phonetically for me? I don't want to I I know I'm butchering it and I really don't want to. <laughs> Slow down. First, taboo coder, taboo coder. Am I underneath it? I, did I seriously come up underneath? I did. No big deal. Ten eighty TI. Oh, Taibu coder. Oh, whoa. I'm too busy concentrating on chat. Almost slammed into my station. TI. TI. TI Bucoder. I have a hard time with English, so. <laughs> That's my primary language. Alright, let's. No, Cortana, I don't want you to search for anything, you freak. Oh my gosh. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Stabilize. I swear that the, the controls on this ship. Like the maneuver. Yeah. I had a friend in, uh, while I was living in Japan. He always used to try and you know teach me little tidbits of Japanese. I, I only ones I ever picked up on were dirty words. Okay. So what would you like for me to call you? So like uh, Dragon Hunter, he just, I just call him Hunter. I'm not going to sit here and call someone Dragon Coder, or not Dragon Coder, Dragon Hunter. All the time. That'd be silly. Coder's fine. Cool beans. and slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Come on. Am I going to bump it? Nope. Okay. Alright. Now we're docked up to that. Let me grab a couple of things to take inside immediately. Like this. Come on. And this. That I probably could have thrown those two ones out the airlock. 
now that they're here, I'll take them inside. I had a resource injector. Where'd it go? Is it still okay? So the resource injector's still on me. And then just load up on all the things. Let's get all the blue canisters taken care of first. Keep my hands free so that I can still do this stuff. Oh no, no. Thank you for asking. Okay. And I'll probably just decompress the entire ship. It'll probably be a lot quicker in the long run, getting everything off, but I don't have the storage to put stuff anywhere. Which is super annoying. Okay. Light on. Okay. It's so cute. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade the solar module on the station here. Yeah. Take that catalyst out. Really don't need it. We'll put this one in. There we go. Make all the power. Come on. Uh, basically, if in Prometheus suit, everything you can press now. So it's all the airlocks that we just take. That's true, and you're not the only person who does that. Uh, another person I play with, uh, her name is Alice. She that, That's how she is. <laughs> she just... Yeah. I think the first time she stepped foot on my station and there was pressure, I'm like, hey, you can take your helmet off. And she's like, what? what? I'm like, yeah, you didn't notice there's, there's pressure here. She's... I don't even bother with it. Yeah. It's a fun mechanic of the game, in my opinion. You know? No. Stop. Ah. One of these days, I'll learn the controls. I promise. Okay. So. Power supply. Yes. We're now producing five or 480. So we're still not producing enough to have everything turned. Well, we can go and just turn the ship off. We don't really. Need... Um... Yeah, we'll just keep the ship off for now. Let me go ahead and decompress it. So I can start doing stuff like this. Ha ha! Servo motor. You know what, you make an excellent point, you really do. Having to, to decompress every single time. It's going to get tiring quick. Let me go ahead and put these posters and everything up in here. Yeah, I was actually talking to somebody about that, and I'm, I'm my speculation is you may not be able to get it in this star system. It may be one of those items you have to go to another planet to get. That's just what I'm thinking. I don't know how much validity there is in that. But to me, that makes sense. It would be for it to not be found around this planet. You actually have to go to another planet. ships and last patch yeah and, and that's what makes me kind of think that because um around oh you went to law Ugh. that is a huge jump wow 
I've I've have never even been out that far. The farthest I've been is the innermost planet. Okay, so decompress the outpost. I said decompress. Thank you. Let's go ahead and start getting some of this all these goodies. Oh, I am almost full. Really? I'm glad they finally updated that, because last time it was going to take me a full... With the T4, it would have taken me... Which, I think somebody said that, that they didn't even have the... Everything above T2 is worthless. To have a 100% cell module, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was just... It, but if it's not getting you any added benefit, there really wouldn't be a point. You know what I mean? But then again, everything in the my previous ship, the No More, everything was decked out T4, or T4 almost. I had uh, T4s... Uh, T4 catalyst in the solar panel and the uh, fusion reactor, T4 resource injector, T4 field core containment. Yeah, yeah, you know. I... Yeah. It's always nice to be tricked out, even if it really doesn't matter. It, it, I saw it as like a show of, uh, not a force, but of what we were capable of doing. Come on, why is it, okay, so it's just going really slow. So I do have some storage inside there where I can put some stuff. Probably what I'm going to have to do. Just deck that area out and then all this stuff and just... Yeah. Until we finally get some modules. <laughs> well, it, to, to be 100% honest, it was a little bit bragging points. Because... Uh, the other station in the game had about four active people playing in it. And typically, Dragon Hunter and I only really play on the server for the stream A, and then stream prep. And <laughs> wow, I thought I was an excessive hoarder. That is excessive hoarding. <laughs> but yeah, I, we. we we were always constantly... That, that's what Dragon Hunter and I do on servers is... When we raid, you know, player stations... We don't take anything. We, in fact, leave stuff. Just to show that we were there. Throw that out. Don't need that. This is all T1 stuff. And T1 stuff is now useless to me because I have an excess of T2. Yeah. Battery's always good, though. Uh, so we got extra... F mm, all this stuff. Did I just pick up a T1 catalyst? No. Okay. So what am I doing? Okay. Let's grab all of this. Grab as much stuff as we can possibly hold. I think that was T1. Yep. T1. Get out of here. That was weird. Throw it a 
Full strength. Yay. Oh. Carbon filters. Okay. Nitro. Hydrogen. Okay. All this stuff. Now that... I do like the fact that the jetpack automatically turns on. I don't know if it's... Yeah. Because coming out of the other ship, when you come out the top airlock, your jetpack doesn't automatically turn on. It was always annoying. Oh, I had to push an extra button. Gosh. Okay. Attachment point oxygen. Nitrogen. Let me go ahead and start filling up. Let's see, the no more. And this. Airlock. SQM. So we got all of that. Fill that full oxygen. Little nitrogen we have. Fill that up. Ah, the transferring of the resources. A time honor tradition in Hellion. Okay. More nitro, because why not? More hydrogen, because why not? Throw that down, make a big pile, so when we finally get a fabricator, we can just deconstruct all those and start off with some nice stuff. Come on over here. I don't need that catalyst anymore. Ha 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 ha. Put the servo motors up. There we go. Don't have to think of there for a second. I might have to kneel down. All right. Put all this stuff up. We got space for these extras. There we go. I just have to remember to close this up when I'm not online so that I don't come back with all my stuff missing. One of the great things is there's not a a theft problem really on this server. I just don't want people going through my stuff. Okay. Alright. All this. Battery. I really wish there was a battery spot. I digress. Could be worse. Come on. Go back. Go back. Yeah, once it's all said and done, um, Wraith Station should only have three cargo bays. But it'll it should have the full array of uh, cargo bay extenders, which will be very very nice. Cup. Don't need that yet. Some more H three. Ooh hoo. Okay. No. Oh. No. Back to the station, back to the station. Okay. Back inside. This is a lot easier without the oxygen turned on. Thank you, Coder. I would probably still be cycling airlocks if you hadn't mentioned that. That wow, seventy. That was a decent little haul. 
Ooh, I didn't even realize I had more. Yay. Wow. Kind of makes me wish I had a, uh, a fusion reactor so I could fuel. Fuel it? So I could fill it. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk today. Throw it. Come in here. And this right here, I've won the game. So nice. You got a bunch of spare catalysts. I'll probably offer some of those to Epic. Just because I'm a nice guy like that. Okay. You go ahead and close up shop, repressurize everything, and I think that'll be it. Make sure my door lock is on. And I would fall flat on my face. Come on, stand up. There we go. We'll take these bin sides so that we can. Uh, oh, 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 please forgot about those. Let me go ahead and shut this door. Shut the inner door. Initial. There we go. Turn that lock on. I wonder, is there one in here as well? There is. Nice. up shop so that no one can take any of my stuff. And so I got those two there and that one there. Okay. Nitrates. Alrighty. Close this door. We are all locked up. Kind of wish the security panel for the ship also worked for the outpost. I know that's too much to ask for. There we go. <coughs> yeah, make people think twice. Well, I think even with the lock, I don't I think if you do it from the other side, you may not be able to access it. I don't know. I don't really... I've never really... Uh, played around much with the locks. Go ahead and get life support flowing into the outpost. The crew quarters module. An airlock. I might as well repressurize the ship while I'm at it. Okay. that there so we got lots of ice so plenty of oxygen we're gonna get some good hydrogen out of that. hydrogen out of that as well or nitrogen oxygen and hydrogen yeah yeah wow I had to sit there and think about what water was made out of for a second huh okay so we got that going. I forgot to throw that out of an airlock. That's no problem. We'll do that later. Grab that. Load this up. And that is all we got time for today. Aha! Right as the lights come on. So, I want to thank everybody for coming out and watching. I'm actually about to go. Uh, right after this is Epictetus' stream. So, I can't really stay late. Don't want to interfere with his stuff, but feel free if you haven't gotten your full Hellion fix. I'm 98% sure he's going to be streaming Hellion today because of the update. So, once again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you missed the first part of the stream, you want to go back. I'll be uploading it later to YouTube. Link is in the uh, description down below. 
If you are watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you're on Twitch, please make sure to hit that follow button so you don't miss any of the content. I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays from 3 to 5 p.m. Central Standard U.S. time zone. I want to thank you guys very much for uh, stopping by, and I will see y'all next time.